Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we shall be talking about the business management HLIA and I will be showing the sample. Um, this is the IA that I actually did in uh, my high school. So feel free to use any material that I'm going to be displaying right next in this screen. I know that this IA can be very frustrating because First of all, you have to look for an organization and then talk to their managers and also talk to their employees. And I will be dividing this video into different parts. So please feel free to skip to any part of this video. Okay, so firstly, uh, we shall be talking about the research proposal. And uh, this is where your research question will come, of course, and your rationale of the study, the theoretical framework. So let's begin with the research question. So for example, my research question says that should so-and-so organization introduce their own e-commerce store within Kampala to increase sales revenue. So of course, as I said, the organization name should, should be there. Uh, and then a solution should be there that you'll be focusing on and the location of the, of the organization and then to increase the sales revenue. So from this question, the examiner already knows that so-and-so organization is facing a challenge of sales revenue. Okay, secondly comes the rationale for the study. Uh, this is where you will highlight the background of the, of the organization that you chose, um, when it was established, how many branches they have, if they have any, um, and also the challenge that it's facing or the reason why you chose that organization. So all of that information should be included in the rationale for this study. Then comes the theoretical framework. So this is where you will highlight the different business tools that you're going to use in your IA and also the unique number of that business tool. For example, um, I'm using the force field analysis which can be found on 1.7.3 in the business syllabus and you should also include the reason why you're using that business tool in specific for example the force field analysis so we know that the force field analysis is to study the factors that are driving change and restraining the forces so that is the general use of the force field analysis and then you just link it to your research question so to explore the effects of introducing online shopping in the business by studying the factors that are driving change and restraining forces the second business tool that I used was profitability and liquidity ratio analysis uh, because it is highly recommended to have at least one financial tool in your IA just to maximize your grade. Then comes the proposed methodology. Again, this shouldn't be something very long. It should just be highlighted in one short paragraph. Uh, it basically has the primary sources and the secondary sources. In this paragraph, you will identify the primary sources that you'll be using in your IA and you should also include the reasons why you want to use that source and then you will also include the second resources. I actually didn't have any second resource, so I just included the course companion, uh, the business guide and the, and the formula booklet. So if you don't have any secondary data uh, to gather, then you can just include the, the textbook of, of business management and, and the formula booklet. Next comes the anticipated problems and solutions. Um, this is something that you will not know beforehand, but, you'd, but you'll just have to predict something. Uh, so there are some general problems that you can talk about, for example, receiving bias information from the manager of the, of the company while interviewing, uh, and also getting limited information from the survey or any other primary uh, resource that you'll be using. So the solutions for getting bias information while interviewing, you can say that I'll provide a letter of confidentiality to give him greater confidence in conveying truthful information. And of course, the solution for getting limited information from the survey is that you can include fewer and broader open questions in the, in the survey so that you can get more qualitative responses. And for the problem of receiving bias information from the director in the interview, you could say that uh, you would focus on 
asking for more financial documents because as we know that financial documents are more reliable because they are not easily forged from the uh, organization so it will be reliable and more accurate in your IA so that's another solution that you could talk about then comes the action plan I used a table format because I felt like the examiner wouldn't want to read a long paragraph just outlining all my tasks and the dates when I'll be starting on those tasks so I would also suggest you to use a table format the way I did it's basically the date when you'll be starting a task the task itself then the main source which will actually help you to complete that task uh, the anticipated challenges and the modifications that you'll make I have nine tasks and I think everyone will be having some of these in common for example drafting the questions and asking your supervisor whether they're fine or not and then for the column for the anticipated challenges for example um, when you receive feedback from your supervisor you might realize that you needed more information so you go back and carry out further research which can be your modification and the problem can be that you found out that there was limited information and then I just made a gun chart. I actually used an online tool to create this. It's, um, it's, it's, I think it's optional. You don't really have to do this. But basically, I have my tasks, which are being referring to the action plan. And then I just visually represented all the tasks with their, with their dates. And then we shall move to the written report. OK, the acknowledgment is the first thing that should be uh, in the written report um, you have to thank the manager or the, the people that you talked in the organization and the people that you may have asked for permission in the organization and then also don't forget to thank your business management teachers for their continuous support and guidance and the table of contents okay then comes the executive summary so as you may have noticed that this is something that comes in the beginning of your written report, but it is actually written at the end because it's a summary. So don't worry about this until you have finished your IA because you'll basically be summarizing everything in less than 200 words. And it should be less than, it shouldn't be 200, but less than 200 words. A good structure to follow for this summary is that to have four different paragraphs. The first paragraph will be about the organization that you're focusing on, the problem that it's facing, and the solution that you may want to come up with, and your research question should also be outlined in the first paragraph. And in the second paragraph, you should be talking about the primary research that you conducted. Um, then the third paragraph should be about the secondary research that was conducted. And then finally, in the fourth paragraph, which should be your last paragraph of the summary, should have your conclusion and any recommendations that you may want to give to the organization. After the executive summary, uh, you should have the introduction. And again, it will repeat the organization name, when it was established, who established it. And again, you'll mention your research question. OK, then comes the methodology employed. So this is similar to what you did in the research proposal. It had the proposed methodology and it should be similar to that uh, unless you changed anything along the way so in the proposed methodology which you did in your research proposal had the things that you had planned out initially and then the methodology employed which is in your written report should actually have the actual things that you did in order to carry out your research so it should it shouldn't be it should be like three to four paragraphs and it should just be talking about the the primary sources and secondary sources that you used and how you used them and the reasons why you used them and how it helped you to to and how it helped you in your IA okay now comes the main results and findings uh, this is where you will be pasting your your pie uh, your pie charts your bar graphs and all the infographics that you may have used in your IA so basically all the data that you receive from your primary research that is visually represented should all come here and um, what i did is that i first talked about the outcome that i got from that figure so for example figure one is showing the convenience of current of the current way of shopping at 
at my organization. So the outcome that I got from this pie chart is that the questionnaire shows that 70%, so as we can see in the pie chart, uh, a bigger portion, which is 70% of the customers found the current way of shopping inconvenient due to COVID-19. So that was my main purpose and my main outcome from that figure. I also had a table that showed the trend, so before COVID and after COVID, and as you can see that the sales revenue was, was much higher before COVID-19 and then it reduced drastically after COVID-19, during COVID-19. Okay, now comes the analysis and the discussion. This is where you should be focusing a lot because this is actually which, because this is what will lead to your conclusion and your whole IA is all based on the analysis that you have taken. So in the analysis and discussion, you should, f this is where all the business tools will come. This is where all the business tools that you want to use will come. Um, so first comes the name of the business tool that you're going to use and then the definition of that tool in reference to the research question. And then, and then you will have the tool itself and then you'll have a few paragraphs talking about each of the points. So for example, I have the force field analysis here and I have just defined what the force field analysis is used for and then I have the different uh, forces, the driving and restraining forces and then I also have a few paragraphs below the, below the force field analysis that talks about the different forces that I have talked about in the figure. And you'll be doing that for the rest of the tools that you'll be using. Uh, I use the ratio analysis um, and I provided references to the formula booklet as my second resource. Now it's time for the conclusion. So I don't think I need to explain a lot here. Uh, depending on your research and your analysis and the different tools that you used, uh, you will be concluding and summarizing the outcomes of all those things that you have researched on and you'll also be recommending the business to to maybe take certain steps so that it can overcome the challenge that it is facing. Um, don't forget the conclusion and the recommendation should all be in one part so recommendation is not something different it's a the recommendations actually come under the conclusion, so don't forget to do that. The area for further study. I don't know if your, if your supervisor has talked about this, but this is really, really important. Even if you don't talk much about it, but as long as you have something which is called an area for further study, will give an impression to the examiner that you actually took time to read your syllabus guide. So it is highly, highly recommended to have one. And it's basically, and, it, and it's not something hard. You just have to mention the things that were limited in your research and maybe for some reasons you couldn't do that on your own and you would actually pass it on to someone that would carry out research in the future. So, and then don't forget to add the bibliography, of course. And then the appendix, the appendix is where you will have everything like literally everything that you gather will be dumped in the appendix so make sure that you store every information that you take if you if you do an interview with someone then make sure that you're recording it and actually transcribing it because you'll have to put it all in your appendix so the interview that so the fake interview that i had with my manager um I had the questions written and then the answers to that, which I got from the interviewee. And this was all made up. Uh, you can actually pause the video and read if you want to. Remember, I, I, I used a force field analysis as one of my business tools in the analysis. Um, so, the, so, the, so in order to get the values for the different driving and restraining forces, I couldn't just make that up so I actually had to show that I asked the interviewee the manager of the organization about the different forces and 
and actually even the the forces themselves these points that you're seeing here should also be asked to the interviewee uh, with the rank because you wouldn't know that because it because you don't work at that organization and of course we are nothing to be knowing that so of course you should be asking that to the manager and then I have the balance sheet which I created myself so I just used the, the basic IP format that we have um, I didn't make anything complex I just because I already had a because I already had this vision that I want to make this IA to be in this certain way and I want it to follow this certain route so I didn't actually had to I didn't actually have to think a lot about it so I just had to show that the sales revenue were less during COVID and they were much more better before COVID and as I had that in mind I could easily figure out the different values that I used in these documents so this is the one before before COVID and then this is after COVID and this is the profit and loss account before and after COVID and then the third appendix that I had was the questionnaire that I the, 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 was a questionnaire that I had given to the customers. Um, sorry for making this video very long, but yeah, it was very, I, I hope this, this video helped you. And if you made it this far until the video, then thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, please share this video with your classmates. Best of luck in your IA and I will hopefully see you guys in our next video. Peace.